Welcome to another three minute lockdown reflection. Today we're looking at Paul and Silas in Acts chapter 16. Life isn't always fair and Paul and Silas found this out when they healed a girl and got dragged by a crowd um, to, to go and accuse them of all kinds of things that they hadn't done just because they'd helped this girl and they'd lost their opportunity to make money from her. They were dragged before the magistrates, there was lies told about them, and they ended up being thrown in prison, but not before they were stripped of all their clothes, before they were beaten, before they were flogged, severely it says, and then when they were thrown in prison, it was in a central cell, uh, right at the heart of the prison, that could be closely guarded, they were put in stocks, their feet in stocks, and um, left there in that uh, horrible condition. Um, I don't know how you'd have felt in that situation, I know that I would have felt angry at the injustice, I'd have felt it was unfair, I would have probably moaned a lot about the conditions, um, I'd have probably cried as well to be honest, um, I do get quite emotional in movies sometimes, particularly um, uh, kind of sad ones, um, but anyway, that's how I would react, how did they react? They reacted by praying and praising God, singing hymns to God. Even at midnight, they were still doing that. And what impact did that have? The people around them in the prison um, witnessed this, and it had a great impact on them, um, because then when there was an earthquake, and the prison doors flew open, and their chains loosed, and they could all get free, they didn't go. They stayed right where they were in the prison. The guard comes in, he's about to kill himself because he thinks everyone's escaped and he'll be in trouble. But Paul and Silas say, don't worry, it's okay, and everyone's still here. Why would they stay there? Have you thought of that? Um, it must have been something to do with the, the, the impact that Paul and Silas is praying and singing hymns at that time of night in the midst of all of the hardship had on the other people in that place. They must have sensed God there in something of this, something special. Certainly the guard did because he came in trembling before them and he told Paul and Silas to come out of prison and he washed their wounds down and he said to them, um, what must I do to be saved? And Paul and Silas pointed them straight to Jesus, said you need to believe in Jesus and explain the gospel to them and, uh, and they were saved. He and his whole family, it says, were baptised. What can we learn from this? experience this lockdown experience for Paul and Silas well first of all let's praise in all circumstances let's not be those people that moan and complain and, and join all of that about the things that are difficult for us but let's be positive and keep praying and keep praising God and um, secondly let's make sure that people around us hear that and see that in us so whether that's with phone calls whether that's on the internet whether that's even within our own home and our own family just being positive it can have an impact on others which brings me to the third Third point in in don't underestimate the impact that that can have on others and also let's always be ready to talk about Jesus and point people to him I hope you've enjoyed this three-minute reflection we'll have another one for you tomorrow